Right, hello everybody. This is actually my second take on this video. Because, as you know, I'm not going to go into why, because that will get confusing and then it will mess up the whole video just like it did last time. Um, and it will just... I said that I was going to do the wrong thing in that video than I actually was going to do. So I was had the wrong goal. But that, I'm not going to... There's no point talking about that. But, okay. Yeah, this is a video on how to get the mantis claws in the mantis claw claws claws Cla I don't know um, but it's the wall jump ability and what you got to do for this is you have to have beaten the second or third boss it's the one after false night and or Gru's mother whichever one you do and it's over here in an area called green path I'm not going to say what name it is, just in case spoilers, but you know, yeah, it's the one over here, and it basically drops a dash ability, unless you do this, um, and you're going to need that to get to, a, get to the wall jump. So as you can see, I've already explored this area, and that's because... Um, again, this is my second take, but yeah. We're going to get a mantis claw, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start off from the Forgotten Crossroads stag station, because although I do have the Queen Station stag station, um, it's... If you are looking at this video, you, there's a chance that you might have this one, but you probably won't, so that's why I'm going to start from here. Okay, so if you have, if you've done the false night, if you've done the boss that drops the, you know, I'm just going to say it's Hornet, it's a boss called Hornet, it drops the dash ability. But if you've done all of that, then you just want to follow where I'm going. Go over here, and we're basically going to go to a new area, a mushroom area called Fungal Wastes, and we're going to go into this village of Manta. So this man, I'm struggling with words today. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a mantis village. That's what I meant to say, and that's why you get the mantis claw. Yeah. you want to jump up here so yeah normally you'd fall down here if you didn't have to dash but if you'd have to dash you should be able to jump and then dash you can go down here I'm probably gonna upload another video today of how to get to Soul Master. But for now, this video is on how to get. Now, if you want to, you can go right here, and that's basically a vendor. He sells unbreakable charms. And they're basically ones that if you die with, they break, and you have to go back to him to repair them. He has unbreakable greed. Uh, um, um, <laughs> He has Unbreakable Greed, which basically makes enemies drop more money. And he has Unbreakable Strength, which basically means you deal more damage. I think you deal 1.5 times more damage. And then you have Unbreakable... Um, what is it? I don't think it's called Unbreakable Health. It might be. But what it basically does is it... I should have it equipped here. Fragile Heart, it's called Fragile. Oh no, sorry, it's not unbreakable charms, it's breakable. Yeah, you can upgrade them later on in the game, which basically makes them unbreakable so that they don't die. Yeah, just just ignore that. They are they're called fragile charms, but you can upgrade them later on and then they're unbreakable so they don't break. 
I'm going to stop talking a lot. Heal me cloth. A nice NPC over there. I'm not going to talk to her though. I just want to go down here. Over here, bounce up. Hopefully you've been following. And then... Two divides actually is how to get to the City of Tears, but you need this wall jump ability to get there. So that's obviously why I'm upgrading this video first. Now, if you go up here, if you keep going to the left, you'll find this. It's a lever, you just gotta jump up there, you know. And you can see where it leads to, it basically leads up, and then up to, if you keep going up and then to the left a bit is Cornifer, he's the guy that sells maps. And if you go up even more, there's a bench and a stack station. So I'm not gonna go over there now, but if you want to go over there, you can pause the video and then come back. I've already got that, so yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I need to come down here, get my map back up just in case. And now you're going to start getting these mantis enemies, which they can be hard to kill for your first time around, but I've played this game through so many times now that they're not that bad. We did for quite a bit of geo early on. Later on it's not a lot, but early on it's... God damn it. Early on it's quite something, so... You can kill them if you want, you can run past them. Now you can see we're starting to get down here. I'm going to take you to a bench. Because right underneath where you get the Mantis Claws is a boss. It's called uh, the Mantis Lord's Boss. And it's basically multiple mantis queens. It's actually really, it's probably the first actually difficult boss of the game. So you, it's optional, I believe. I might be wrong about that. I haven't really thought in so much. But yeah, here's the bench, and it's basically really going to be the closest one to the boss. You can get this bench. And then to the left is an NPC that you can rescue, just like you did to Sly, if you've gotten the shopkeeper that ends up going to dirt now, dirt myth. You basically just talk to but you need the wall jump ability to get to them, so obviously we don't have that yet, so we can't get to them yet. But you can keep on going, and then there's actually a charm there called Dash Master. get that lever. I don't know how I got hit there, but okay. And try not to get hit like me. So now we've got our lever. There's a door that was up there that's now been opened. I'm going to dash up here. And you can see it literally right there, the mantis claw. Press A when s I'm using a controller. Press A when s while sliding against a wall to jump again. Jump from wall to wall to reach new areas. As you can see, I could slide down and I can jump now. This is probably the most useful ability in the game. It is going to get you to places you've never been able to get to before. So it's, it's obviously needed for completion. I'd recommend getting it as early as possible in the game. Now you can stop the video here if you want. But I'm just going to quickly show you 
basically. Wait, what am I doing? How to get to the Mantis Lords. You want to come up here? Do that. Kill them. Well, sorry. Um, and then up there is just a shortcut. I'm not going to go up there yet, though. Because you need... There's a double jump, and you need it to get to a certain place there, so there's basically no reason to go there. I'm going for the shortcut. Back to there, you have already been to. And then, yeah, you come up here. Hopefully you've been following up to now. If you haven't, then, um, sorry, just go back in the video, find where you are, and then just continue watching. So, yeah, you come down here. And you just heard a massive shake. Now that you've hit that lever, you can see that now this massive thing is door, trap door has been opened. So if you keep going down, I'm not going to do it now. If you keep going down from here, there is a boss, the Mantis Lords. It's basically three. Mantis Queens that you got to fight. It's a very difficult boss. Up to you whether you want to do them now or come back later. I prefer to do them now, but that's only because I've played the game three multiple times, so it isn't that difficult for me anymore. But if you're a new player, I would recommend um, skipping them for now and then coming back later. But that's it for this guide, I hope you enjoyed it, and keep eating potatoes.